Okay, I thought I'd do this week's newsletter as a video clip because there's so much to cover. We've come to the end of the summer break. I'm not going to say the summer because I think we've still got some sunshine on our way. But there's so much I want to say and I'm going to summarise this in this week's newsletter. But hopefully this is going to cover most of it. I'm sure I'll forget something. So let's start with the online. The online has been amazing. And I can't thank you enough for supporting me throughout um, the last however many months it's been. You know, it's been a lifeline. It's kept the business afloat. It really has. It's been the only way I've been able to continue. And I've really enjoyed it. But I think the time has come now. I am ready to just bring everything back to face to face. And I hope you are too. And I know there's so many of you that have been out of action you know didn't really get involved in the online perhaps it wasn't for you but also i know there are so many of you that it's just worked so well for so i don't want to strip it from underneath you um what i want to do is still allow you a monthly access sub sort of subscription to it so all i'm going to do and let's not forget here the amount of classes within that online group there's over 600 now and everything is listed in topics. So you literally will go into topics and you'll find whatever classes you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is offer just a monthly online subscription of 10 pounds. So if you want to continue having, you know, that flexibility so that you, if you can't get to face-to-face -to -face classes, at least you've got something you can go back and refer to and, and do at home or in your own time. Um, and everything now is going back face to face i've updated a september timetable now i've done a little kind of uh printout timetable which is attached um and if you can't see that it will all be updated onto the website by i think it's the second of september they promised me but it might be um a couple of days later so just bear with on that um and the september timetable i thought about making a few quite a few changes and then i thought you know what, what i need to do is see how things settle down in September, what the numbers are like. This is gonna be crunch time for me. It really is because numbers really dropped, have really dropped on the face-to-face. -face. They're starting to build up now, uh, but I need to get bodies into classes and not forgetting that now uh, my haul high costs, there's massive overheads with that. Um, and in order for me to keep the business running with all of these classes that I offer, I need to get you guys back with me in class. Um, there's still probably um, the chance that we could keep a lot of them outside, but the problem is if I don't take up the hall high slots, they get given away. They are like gold dust at the minute, especially the larger halls. There are people fighting for them. So uh, for instance, uh, Wednesday night, this Wednesday, the 1st of September, will be in Whiteleaf Park at six o'clock. But then the following week, we're back to old, um, you know, the good old Whiteleaf school, we can do it indoors or outdoors, back to the usual time of seven o'clock. And what I'm hoping there is that it's going to bring back some of you that perhaps haven't been able to make that six o'clock slot. So those are the sorts of changes that are happening. Um, the other change is my fitness Pilates on a Monday and a Wednesday and a Thursday. So Monday will stay at the Methodist Church at 9.15 and it is beginner intermediate and I'm putting beginner intermediate because I want to get some more people into the fold now I do want to go back to some kind of basic Pilates work really controlled Pilates work so that we can kind of um, really get a handle on where we are and for anybody new that wants to come into into the class can do and doesn't feel like um, you know they're jumping ahead of themselves so that's the monday one the wednesday one unfortunately and i'm so cross about this the golf club have said no they, in fact they've given me two dates in october but they're just too busy can't accommodate us anymore which is a real shame however it was extortionate and um whether we get those sorts of numbers again who knows i've been ringing around absolutely everywhere but luckily for me, and because um, the village hall opposite the Horseshoe Pub doesn't have anybody in there until 10 o'clock, they've allowed me to use it beforehand. So it can still be um, a similar time. So it can be 9.15 on a Wednesday, but it needs to be a prompt start. I won't be starting at 20 past because we have to be out the door at 10 o'clock. So get there at nine if you can. If we can start at 10 past, that'd be fantastic. So that's um, the, the next update. And that's gonna be Power Pilates power pilates and then thursday night 
Um, we were running in the church hall in Warlingham next to Coughlands and the parking was shocking and I think it put a lot of people off. So I've secured a slot at De Stafford School in the small hall downstairs and it's a 7.15 start and that's your chilled Pilates and deep stretch. So they're just a few of the little tweaks that I've made. Um, and everything else generally is staying the same. We've got a new Sculpt Def and Define, which we're continuing on a Thursday morning with Sarah um, in Morning and Methodist Church. Uh, but my um, hope, well, what I am going to do, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it because the response has been really good, Box Fit. I'm going to bring back Box Fit in October. So let's get September underway and then in October I'm replacing the Monday night's Body Blitz, so the 7.45 class at Stafford with Box Fit and potentially the Thursday morning Sculpt and Define will be Box Fit as well. And I don't panic because uh, we're going to do like, it's going to be a bit of a mix, so it'll be a bit of boxing but a bit of sort of circuit work if that makes sense. Um, using weights, using body weight, with then some boxing work. Um, it's going to be it's going to be really good. Something a little bit different. So I'm hoping you're going to enjoy that. And I know those of you who love the boxer size are going to really enjoy that one. So that's it in terms of classes. And I don't want to go on for too long, um, which I know I am going to. But you can all stick it on in the car while she's driving it along and have a little listen. Um, so that's that as far as I, I'm aware at the minute. But And the early risers class. I'm going to run it as long as I can and it stays light. And then I need to know from you guys whether you want me to take that indoors because I'm happy to take that indoors at Wallingham Methodist Church if the uptake's there. But September's a real kind of, I've got to see where things go, how how the numbers look and, and get your feedback. So, you know, always feel free to message me, constructive criticism even, I'm happy with that. So classes, excited. Par class passes, I'm not putting up. They're staying the same. Um, and if you get the unlimited class pass, that includes access to the online classes. So all of that bank of classes. Otherwise, just access to online is £10 a month. Um, next, next, next. So that is it. Oh, pay as you go, £8 not seven pounds. So that's the only thing I'm putting up page ago and I haven't put it up for a long time. And that was the pre COVID cost. And I'm just going back then. It just helps me out with the, with the whole high costs. So I hope everybody is going to be back with me. I'm so excited. And I really want to see you back in some old faces. I've had loads of messages with people. So I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Um, I'm going to run in September a seven day sugar challenge to get those of you just kind of back your head, head space back in the right place. If that makes sense. Um, kick out the sugar habits it's only seven days I'll give you all the details um, next week on that and if you want to sign up um, just let me know and then we go to back to basics final final comment it's ugh, overwhelming this is a response I think I've got 38 booked on which is why I went for the two sessions so we've got a 7 15 session starts Tuesday the 7th of September in morning at Methodist Church it's full that one but I've got still spaces in the 8 15 session every week you know you've heard me talk about it every week something different focusing on um mobility and stretch one week uh body weight conditioning another week interval training another week upper body strength back and abs lower body strength, Pilates and activation bands. So there's eight different types of classes and it's going to get drip feed just a little bit of what we do in the other classes, give you adaptations for people who are beginner level, anybody who is recovering from injury or has lost their confidence and just wants to go back to concentrating on the real basics of fitness. So everybody, I have waffled for nearly nine minutes. Um, I promise not to do it again. If you've watched this from start to finish, I take my hat off to you. As I say, really excited for a September fresh start. I will look forward to seeing you all. As I say, website will be updated next week. Class fit will be updated. Please still book because it allows me, if I make any changes, I can notify you automatically. And if, you know, there is likely to be changes along the way. So I need to keep a handle on numbers. So please book if you can. And if you don't manage to, um, just send me a message, it's not the be on end all, but it will keep you in the loop with stuff. Okay, enjoy your bank holiday weekend, everyone. I will see you on tomorrow, Saturday, for our next boot camp in Whiteleaf Park.